The midterm elections are in full swing. Today was the last day to register in many states, but don't worry, if you haven't registered yet, you can still vote illegally. <laughs> now, one thing we've come to expect around elections is celebrities getting involved. And these days, a celebrity voicing their political opinion is like climate change. It's happening every day, and most people ignore it. But there are still some celebrities who simply cannot be ignored. Kanye West added again, sparking controversy on Twitter. Uh, the pro-Trump rapper posted a photo of him wearing a red Make America Great Again hat. He's the brave one, going out into liberal la-la land and getting <laughs> booed because he likes Trump. What I love about Kanye West is he has been blazing this trail, saying it's okay to think freely. Thank you, Kanye West, for standing up for what is right. Yes, the right has a new favorite rapper. So step aside, nobody. <laughs> Yeah, that's a, that's a slot that's never been filled before. <laughs> so, Republicans have been celebrating the second coming of Jesus as one of their own. <laughs> but yesterday, Democrats said, uh, hey, Republicans, uh, I'm gonna let you finish, but we just got one of the best endorsements of all time. Taylor Swift got a huge response after announcing yesterday she's voting for Democrat Phil Bredesen over Republican Marsha Blackburn in the U.S. Senate race in Tennessee. The pop star has always made it a point of keeping silent on politics, but shocked her fans last night. Swift wrote, I always have and always will cast my vote based on which candidate will protect and fight for the human rights I believe we all deserve in this country. Wow. Wow. This, this is a big deal. Because you realize until now, Taylor Swift has stayed as far away from politics as she does from rhythm, right? <laughs> and no, like, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. I love, I love Tay Tay's music. But let's be honest, have you seen her dancing? Like, Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift. Here's the thing, Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift dances like she's making fun of how white people dance. That's how she dances. <laughs> And just like Kanye fired up Republicans, Taylor also seems to be having an impact. Her post apparently caused a huge surge in voter registration. So you can't deny that she has influence with voters. Yeah. You just can't. You can't deny that Taylor Swift has that influence. The same way you can't deny that while reputation might have lacked the momentum and sales records of 1989, it's still an impressive brooding departure portraying Taylor as a woman coming into her own and solidifying her power and range as an artist. <laughs> or so I've been told. I mean, so I've been told. And I get it, I get it. If anyone can convince young people to vote, it's the woman who somehow got young people to buy physical CDs because she wasn't on Spotify. I mean, like, who even owns a CD player? Like, people were probably popping the disc into the toaster trying to play them, there was like... <laughs> And since Taylor has been so quiet about politics, uh, there was actually a theory in the alt-right community that was that maybe she was secretly a pro-Trump conservative, right? But now by endorsing a Democrat, she blew that theory up, which is news that the president took surprisingly well. What do you have to say to Taylor Swift now that she's in politics? Taylor Swift jumping into politics, what do you have to say to her? And what did she say? She said she wants people to vote for Democrats. Let's say that I like Taylor's music about 25% less now, okay? That's, that's a weird way to express displeasure. That's, <laughs> he likes her music 25% less? Like, what does that even mean? Is, is he now just gonna cut off 25% of his Taylor merchandise? Is that what he's gonna do? Oh, and by the way, I love, I love how Trump turned back when he heard Taylor Swift, you see that? <laughs> like, cause he was leaving, he was leaving, right? And then he heard Taylor Swift and he was like, what? <laughs> yeah, cause normally reporters shout questions, he just keeps going. They're like, Mr. President, the United Nations Global Warming, Mr. President, your policy on Hezbollah, Mr. President, what do you think about Taylor Swift? He's like, what's that? <laughs> what's that? Taylor Swift, <laughs> let me tell you something. I know all about this issue from my briefings that I read in United States Weekly. <laughs> and look, I know right now there are conservatives out there who are pro Taylor Swift and are feeling conflicted at this moment because she has endorsed the Democrats. And to them I say, if you're a real Taylor Swift fan, you know what you gotta do. <laughs> Shake it off. We'll be right back. <laughs> 